And I just got to thinking about the church. How bitter this whole world is. But if we could just get to the house of God and you start singing and worshiping, praising, God could do something. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. God bless you. Appreciate you tuning in with us uh, today. I appreciate the Victory Apostolic Church. Appreciate each and every one uh, that takes the time uh, to uh, tune in. May the Lord bless you. We're going to move quickly in the Word today. We appreciate you joining us today, those that are tuning in online. May the Lord bless you today. I know there's a lot of people that are sick in body today, and we want to have prayer on the end but I want you to know that we're praying for you daily, and uh, we appreciate all the requests that's been turned in uh, at our website, and uh, may the Lord bless you for uh, just uh, reaching out for prayer, because we definitely, during these times, need each other's prayers. God bless you. Let's get into the Word quickly today. Uh, Joel 2 and 1 is where I like to read, and you're hearing today, I won't hold you a long time today, but I feel like the Lord has laid something on my heart uh, today, and uh, I want to speak to you uh, from uh, what the Lord laid on my heart today. Joel 2 and 1, just one passage of scripture, and uh, a very familiar scripture. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Could just say, God bless the word today. God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, God, just touch us today. Strengthen our bodies. Strengthen one another. Uh, speak to us through your word in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you today. Uh, there is a time uh, that the morning awakes us. Sometimes in the middle of the night, uh, there can be an alarm that may sound. There have been times where the alarm clock may wake us up, or uh, the alarm, if you have a security system, it may wake you up and sound an alarm. I believe that we all realize in our walk, if you have any spiritual uh, maturity in you, any spiritual walk whatsoever in God, you realize that we are living in the end time because the Bible speaks of the things that are already taking place. Uh, that we are living in in time. But the thing that we need to consider is uh, we don't need to just know that it's in time. We need to realize that it's an alarm that should go off for every Christian, and it should remind us that the time is nigh for the coming of the Lord, and that we should understand that when the alarm goes off, you got to get up and do something about it. And I believe that we live in a time where the church... We've got to do something about what is sounding off as the alarm that's going off for the church. I believe we live in that time when the alarm has already went off and it's time that we do what we can to win souls, to save our families, to save our friends uh, uh, from a lost and dying uh, 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 hell. We want to, uh, our, our, our loved ones to be saved. We don't want them to be lost. And so the alarm is sounded. And I'd like to speak to you just simply the sound of a king's trumpet. I, I, I thought about the different types of alarms. We have car alarms. We have house alarms. Uh, uh, there's all kinds of alarms that uh, people have set that can go off when uh, somebody gets into something that is uh, special or something that is of, of value. There's something of value that is going off today and uh, that is our soul, that is our salvation today. But there is a sound of a king's trumpet back in the Bible times or in older uh, days. Any type of king, uh, there was a type of alarm. Even in the army, there was a type of ar uh, alarm that they used with the trumpet and our bugle. And uh, they would sound a certain type. Of, it was a certain sound that it made that meant to... A fight. It meant to retreat. Uh, 
uh, and people went by what the alarm, uh, how it sounded. And uh, today I'm, I'm speaking of the sound of a king's trumpet. Uh, the trumpet uh, is a musical instrument that is used in many occasions. Uh, it can be used as a summons to battle, as I mentioned, to sound an alarm and to announce the arrival of a king. When we look at the sixth chapter of Joshua, uh, we read of the priests. They begin to blow the ram's horns uh, and the, uh, at the battle of Jericho. It wasn't necessarily always a trumpet, but it was like the ram's horn. But they went by the sound of what it was making, and it told them that they needed to fight. It told them what to do in battle, and it told them when to pull out. Amen. I'm telling you today, somebody listening under the sound of my voice today, that there is a sound that's initiated by the king. Uh, there is a sound of the king's trumpet today. Uh, we look for the end time, and Gabriel's going to blow that trumpet, but the king today is sounding an alarm. Thank the Lord that we have an alarm before the sounding of the trumpet. Many would be lost, but there is a sound today from the king's trumpet that is being made, and it is time for us to heed the call. Many of us have been slumbering. Many of us have been sleeping. Many of us have been slipping away. Uh, 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 many of us have been caught in a, uh, 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 we, we've been caught in, in, in overwhelmed with our circumstance and our problems, and, uh, and we're just caught off guard, and, and, and that alarm should wake us up. What kind of alarm are you talking about? The king is sounding alarm to go into battle, but he's sounding an alarm for us to pray. He's sounding an alarm for us to fast. He's sounding an alarm for us to pray and read that word. He's sounding alarm to get involved the best way that we possibly can in the house of God. The world is trying to sound off alarms about how bad things are and what you need to do to take care of your health and, and, and all of that. And I'm not knocking all of that. But what I'm telling you, there should be an alarm that should go off that should also say that people were living in perilous times and that we must... The, the trumpet is sounding. The king is setting off the alarm. It's coming from the holy mountain of God. And he's saying, let all the inhabitants begin to tremble. The world's not fearing God. They're fearing everything else that is made by man. They're fearing sickness. They're fearing uh, all kinds of things with our government. They're fearing all other things except God himself. But I'm telling you, He's saying that the land needs to tremble for the day of the Lord is going to come. And he said it's nigh at hand. There is a sound of a king's trumpet that is going to sound one day. But you need to heed to the alarm that's being given for the church to keep going forward and do what it needs to do. Amen, Joshua. The trumpet played an important part in this battle at Jericho. At the blowing of the ram's horn, the shouting of Israel, God gave the victory. Amen. Israel had received the promise of the land of Canaan. But before settlement could take place, this battle had to be fought. Amen. Before you can receive great victory, before you can uh, find peace and settlement in your life, you're going to have to fight some battles. Amen. We've been fighting some battles for some time. Some of you have been fighting battles for a long time. Even right now, you've been fighting battles. What kind of battles? I'm talking about health battles. I'm talking about depression battles. I'm, I'm talking about battles that you're facing. Maybe it's your family. Maybe it's other things that you're dealing with in your life that nobody else is going through. Only God himself seems to understand. And sometimes the battle you have is you don't even think God understands. But I'm telling you, God is sounding an alarm, amen, for you to pray, to keep reaching, to keep digging in his word, to keep holding on to his promises, amen, just as they gave victory to he gave to his people, and they received the promise of the land of Canaan. Amen. There's a battle that's got to be fought, but there's also battles that are going to be won. We read the history concerning the sins of Jericho. We wonder sometimes why God didn't just destroy the cities like this many years before. But God had a plan. Thank God he has a plan for America. Thank God he has, had a plan for you and I. He didn't just give up on us. Jericho 
was an exceeding sinful city waiting for the judgment of God. Israel was called to destroy this city with the sounding of the rams. Amen. The ram's horns. It was called uh, with the sounding of these ram's horns. I believe God is calling us to battle today. Many of you are tired. You've been fighting battles. You've had to pull over to the side somewhere. And you, you, you've had to uh, heal your wounds. Some people have pulled from the battle. And I really feel this today. You, you've been hurt. You've been beaten. Uh, you've been let down. Uh, you, you, you've been hurt by, by your own people. You've been hurt by your own family. Amen. You, you've had uh, maybe uh, so-called Christians uh, that have, have even hurt you or let you down, and you don't, you don't trust anymore. And it's a battle you pulled off that you've been injured. And you've been hurt, but you've become so immune to just staying on the sideline. You know what? It's a little peaceful here than getting out there and getting hurt again or, or, or suffering again. I think I'll just lick my wounds. And if, if I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die anyway in the battle, why don't I just die right here? I, I'll have a little comfort. won't have to do too much. I'm telling you, that's the trick of the enemy. That's the enemy trying to tell you to give up. That's the enemy uh, that's trying to sound on uh, to, to block the sound of the alarm to fight. But I'm telling somebody today, the alarm is going off. We've got to fight, amen. We've got to continue this, which we've started, amen. Hallelujah. The sound is coming forth for the king's trumpet. What you're hearing is the enemy's trumpet. You know, the king, their king, the one they serve was a distinct, unique sound. It was a special type of trumpet, just like the voice of a shepherd, you're not going to recognize just any sound, any trumpet. You're going to know that it's your king. You're going to know that it's your shepherd. I'm telling you today, there's sounds. People are giving in, saying, you know what, that's, that's, I, I think I'll just give. I'll, I can't hear the one I want, so I'll take this one. You're taking second best. You're taking third best. Amen. God wants you to have the very best. You're not listening to the one true sound. You're not listening to the one uh, who's trying to lead you, your pastor. Uh, you're not listening to God. Amen. There's a sound that comes forth only from a particular king's trumpet. And he's calling us to battle. The trumpet's being sounded. But we live in a society where sin is abounding everywhere. People's got, I'm just going to preach it here today. People's got more hope, faith, and a doctor and the medical field than they do the power of healing through God. And I'm telling you, we've got to get back. I'm not doing anything. I appreciate it. God bless you, those that are in it and helping and on the front lines and doing it. I'm not knocking you by any means. But there will come a day, he said, the alarm is going to sound. The alarm is going to sound where you're not going to be able to buy, sell, or have anything. You're going to have to depend on nothing but the power and the healing blood of Jesus. I'm telling you, I'm thankful for that to be, amen, uh, uh, in the forefront of my life to have, Lord. I'm thankful that I have that as something I can always uh, reach to and trust his word. Amen. But we have a society that's giving in to everything. They're listening to too many voices. They're listening to too many sounds. They're listening to things that are not alarming them. They're not even alarmed uh, at, at what's going on and that they need to get their hearts right and get in the house of God. I'm telling you, it's abounding everywhere. The same sins of Jericho are being committed here in America and even on a larger scale, there's a spiritual battle going on ever since the fall of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. There has been a battle for the souls of men, and it still is a battle going on. There's a spiritual battle of good, and there's a spiritual battle of evil. The world is the battleground, and the prize is the soul of men. Satan has his army today. He has an army of demons and fallen angels. His mission is to seek and destroy the souls of men and women. He does this in a very clever way. He never jumps out at you and says, hey, I'm the devil, please follow me. He's too, he's too clever for that approach. He's a very cunning and sly individual. He uses the avenues of sin and your weakness and the things that he knows will get you discouraged and get you down. He'll use friends. He'll use familiarities. He'll use family. He'll use things that you're accustomed to. He'll use things that, that brought you down in your past, and he'll 
he'll try to destroy your soul. But I'm telling you, there's the sound of a king's trumpet that's going off today that you need to listen to. And it's far greater of a sound and a cry than what the enemy is trying to put out uh, of himself. Satan never lost his musical talents. Remember that. He, he never lost his beauty when he fell from heaven. Some people think he just turned ugly. He was just as beautiful as the day he was created in heaven. That's why it's so appealing uh, to people today. And he can trick and he can uh, 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 persuade and influence people. It's simply uh, he became corrupt. He uses his ability, his beauty in the world today to lure and snare the souls of men. That's why you've got to be prayed up. That's why you got to be read up in word. That's why you got to be fasted up, amen, and be prepared at all costs for battle, amen, because you want to be able to hear the right sound, the trumpet from the king, amen, hallelujah. So he never lost his beauty and his musical talents. He uses what he can to lure people into his trap. His ways are attractive, inviting, and popular, but it is the way of death. He invites this generation to indulge in so many forms of sin, drinking, drugs, sex, all kinds, alcohol, rebellion, worldly devil music, movies, television, anything that he can do to attract the minds of people and pull them down to his level. He wins the battle in many, many lives, especially when people sin. He wins the battle every time. But these are weapons of his warfare. Let me sound the trumpet today for somebody. Let me call you to battle the sound of a king's trumpet today. God has an army of born-again believers and the angels of heaven. This is the army of the righteous this way is the way of life. God needs soldiers today, just as Uncle Sam needs a good few men. Amen. God needs soldiers of the cross. God needs soldiers of the truth. God needs warriors who can move the glory world. God needs warriors who can shake hell. God needs you, someone who can take the word of truth and put to flight the enemies of God. Since the world is the battleground, there is no neutral ground, unfortunately, uh, somebody needs to hear me today. Everyone must enlist in either the army. Amen. We are either in the army of Satan or the army of God. Which army are you in today? Sound the trumpet to battle. Wake up the sinner today. Wake up the backslider. Somebody needs to hear the sound of the king's trumpet. Wake up, saints. Wake up, world. There's another trumpet I want to sound today, the trumpet of alarm. We're living in the last days. The signs of the times are all around us. Evil has swept our world. Nuclear destruction is possible at every end. Amen. Viruses uh, like you wouldn't believe are to come. Look at the seasons, the weather. Israel's return to their homeland and more are arriving home every day. It's time you blow the trumpet sound and alarm that God in God's holy mountain. Fearful things are coming upon the world. There's not much time left. Our economy's fallen. It's already failed. When you look at it, the nations are fearful. Won't someone please hear the sound of the king's trumpet? Somebody needs to hear the sound of this preacher. I'm blowing a trumpet, but it's the trumpet of the king. Amen. Blow the trumpet, saints. Hope is fading. Sound the alarm. There's another trumpet today that I want you to know, the trumpet to announce the arrival of Jesus Christ. One day, I don't know when, Gabriel will step uh, one foot on the land and one foot on the sea, and he's going to blow the trumpet that will announce the arrival of the king of Jesus. Jesus will split the eastern skies. Every eye shall see him, and every knee shall bow before him. I'm telling you, there's a sound like no other sound. I don't believe we've ever heard this type of sound before. Uh, I played trumpet in high school. I, I, I know how to play a trumpet. But you know what? I've heard really good trumpet players. I've heard professionals play it. 
And boy, they can play it. I've heard soldiers uh, play taps. I've heard all kinds of beautiful orchestras and instruments. But there's not a sound that's going to be as fun or more beautiful than the sound of the king's trumpet. I'm ready for that trumpet today. The question is, are you ready today? Are you ready to heed the call that God has placed upon you in your life? If you don't know the Lord, if you have uh, not come to him, amen, if you uh, are a sinner today, if you've not come to an altar, repentance, ask for forgiveness of your sins, repent it if you've not been filled uh, with the gift of the Holy Ghost, with the evidence of speaking in other tongues, if you haven't been baptized in the wonderful, precious name of Jesus Christ, you're not going to be able to hear the sound of the king's trumpet. Amen. Uh, I, I believe the alarm, you'll hear the alarms go off every now and then, but there's a trumpet that's going to come from the king that's going to get you up and get you ready to fight and is going to get you up out of here. Can you hear the sound of the king's trumpet today? Can you hear it ringing in your soul today? Praise God. Praise God. Somebody ought to hear the sound of the trumpet. Amen. Somebody ought to hear that sound of the king's trumpet today. Praise God. I'm so thankful for the sound of the king's trumpet. Get ready. There's an expectancy in the air. Do you wake up every day with anticipation this might be the day? Do you, do you get up every now and then with, with the excitement that, you know, uh, that this could be the day that the Lord comes back. I was thinking about the old song. This could be the day. What a beautiful day. This is for the Lord to come again. Something of that. Uh, that uh, I believe it was something similar to that. What a beautiful. Every day it, it could be storming and nasty outside. But it could still be a beautiful day for the Lord to open up the heavens. Split the eastern sky. And come back and take the church. Sound the alarm. But there's an alarm that's being sound today. Somebody needs to heed to that. Get your house in order. Amen. Get yourself ready to prepare the medium. Uh, pay attention to the alarm. I know sometimes that alarm clock will go off and I'll hit snooze. And, and, and I have the luxury sometimes to, to do that. And I can and always uh, maybe sleep in. But when you got to get up and be somewhere, you're on a schedule. You can't do that. I'm telling you, you're not going to be able to hit the snooze button when, you, when the alarm goes off, when Jesus uh, is ready to take the church. Amen. You're either going to be ready or you're not. Oh, you saints, for your redemption, lift up your heads. Amen. Your redemption draweth nigh. Amen. Look up. Look up, church. Your redemption draweth nigh. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you uh, for tuning in today for the word. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, I, we, we want to go to the Lord in prayer. This past week, we, we received so many uh, phone calls and uh, text messages and even emails. And there's many people that are sick. And uh, I know there's been a lot of churches and a lot of pastor friends and a lot of just people that I know personally that's been affected by sickness. And we want to go to the Lord in prayer. I believe the Lord is a healer. If you'll join in with me today, maybe you're sick in body wherever you're at today. If you'll just lift your hand, let's just go to the Lord. The Bible says for two or three are gathered in his name, said he'd be in our best. And I believe that we'll gather together today and we're going to pray for whatever your situation may be today. God, thank you today. We lift you up, Lord. We glorify you. This is all for your glory. But God, you took the stripes for our healing, God. Uh, this blood that was shed at Calvary, God, was so that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And, God, it was for not only the cleansing of our sins, but, God, it was for the healing of our bodies. And, God, I'm asking that not by me, God, by no means, but, God, through you in me, God, whoever hears my voice, whoever hears this program today, whoever hears this message today, that, God, while they're listening and while we're praying together, God, right now, God, that you would apply, God, what your word says we're not just being a hearer, but we're doing a doer of your word. God, we're believing, and we're trusting, and we're having faith that, God, you're going to touch the bodies of those that are sick. God, whoever needs a touch, whoever needs a healing, God, right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, we ask, Lord, that you just touch these needs, and, Lord, heal their bodies. 
God, bring them to complete wholeness, strength, restoration. God, we thank you for what you have done. We're going to give you the praise and the glory for it. God, there's somebody that may be depressed, somebody that's just down, just discouraged today, who's hurt, who's been abandoned, who feels alone today. God, I'm asking God that you would just reach down in only the way that you know how and comfort them. David encouraged himself and you, Lord, somehow encourage them. God, through this prayer, encourage them with the strength, God, that's going to the effects that's going to come through prayer. But, God, we understand, God, that whoever, God, may be listening, whoever may be in need, God, let them understand, God. God, God, for that faith without works is dead. But, God, also, God, that, Lord, they must give you the praise and give you the glory, God. When they he get healed, when they get touched, when they get delivered, God, let them come forth, Jesus, with praise. God, we thank you for this. We give you the glory for this. In Jesus' name, thank you for your word. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you today.